Rest in peace, Mamba, fiercest player to ever play it. Uh, you'll bounce back, Lakers Nation. Just know that we will never forget you. Kobe Bryant, number eight, number 24, we're always here with you. Fans from Arkansas and around the world remembering NBA legend Kobe Bryant. This morning on KARK4 Today, we'll have the latest on the helicopter crash investigation. And the coronavirus continues to spread more confirmed cases here in the U.S. Find out what other countries are now monitoring. Plus, we're getting ready for the Super Bowl 54. Yeah, Chiefs vs. 49ers. Go to our Facebook page and pick who you think will win down in South Florida. Now, from the station you count on for local news that matters, this is KARK for today. Hey, good morning. Thanks so much for joining us for KARK for today. It is January 27th, and we are less than a week away from the Super Bowl. And we're going to get you ready yeah, all every, week long. Yeah, everything that comes with it. Uh, media Day, I believe you said, starts today, uh, Aaron. Yes, and so the, that's always fun to watch. Make sure you check that on the ESPN and all that good stuff. But today we want your predictions for the big game. Head to our Facebook page. There's a poll there. And right now, a lot of people are thinking them Chiefs are going to knock it out. But we want to know your comments as well because we're going to be reading your comments of your score predictions. You can't be like my girl who said, I think they're going to win by, by a touchdown or a field goal. Vote. you got to pick one thing, right? Yeah, one thing. I got to vote right now. What you got? I want the Niners to win, but I think the Chiefs are going to win. Mm. See, I'm one of those people yeah, now. Like, I want, people. I'm rooting for this one team, but yeah. I think I should vote for the Niners. Yeah. Did I you vote yet? Aaron, uh, I can't. I, I don't know. You got to think about it. Why not? Going you, got you got time. You got time. Yeah. Pat, I'm just the opposite your... of Suzanne. What? Pulling for the Chiefs, but I think the Niners will do it. Done. Mm. Voted. I you just, need I to just, as well. I don't know. It's a 500 tough one. votes already. Hey, we do have some fog this morning. It's kind of a cool looking shot here from our Dash Heating and Cooling Tower Cam. It's um, actually above the fog, the cloud there. The top is clear above Little Rock. You can see the regions building there just below us. It's kind of kind of blanket right over the city this morning. 42 is our current temperature in Little Rock. Of course, with this kind of fog, we do have a dense fog advisory. That's until 10 a.m. After the fog this morning, we'll have a mostly sunny sky, and we're going to warm up to 56 degrees this afternoon. Aaron and Suzanne. All right, Pat, thanks so much. This morning, basketball fans around the world coming to terms with the news that former NBA star Kobe Bryant was killed in a plane crash. Shocking news yesterday mm -hmm. afternoon. That crash happened Sunday in California, killing eight other people, including... Kobe's 13-year-old daughter, Gianna. This morning, we know that the helicopter was flying in foggy conditions after leaving Bryant's home. It was waiting for clearance from a nearby tower when it made a U-turn before going down and disappearing from radar. We do know there was an issue of visibility and a low ceiling. The actual uh, uh, conditions at the time of impact, that is still uh, yet to be determined, and we'll have that with the NTSB shortly. All right, so the NTSB arrived in California overnight. A team will determine what led to the crash. The team will look at the history of the pilot, the maintenance records of the helicopter, and other things. It's expected that the NTSB is going to hold a press conference mm -hmm. later today after getting a first look at that site. And you know, news of Kobe's death quickly spread online with other NBA players reacting to his death. And sports fans here also saddened by what happened. Mandy Knoll joins us in studio with more. Mandy. A lot of people saying even if they weren't huge NF, uh, NBA fans, everybody knows who Kobe is. He's a, a legend. He's an icon. And going through Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, you can see Kobe Bryant's impact on a lot of people's lives. He actually lived in Italy from 6 to 30. His father played basketball there, and this morning, the Italian Basketball Federation says there will be a moment of silence in all games the whole week. A lot of people we spoke with are in disbelief and shock after learning about the crash. Brian got his start in the NBA at the age of 17 in 1996. He spent his entire career as a Los Angeles Laker until he retired in 2016. He won NBA championships and an Olympic gold. Although his death came suddenly, longtime fans say his legacy lives on. He didn't even get to enjoy his retirement, you know, and, and that, that time to spend with his daughters. I mean, it's just, it's very sad. It's way too early. Little Rock native and Kobe's Lakers teammate Derek Fisher tweeted Kobe's life after basketball was just beginning and his second act was going to be even greater. His legacy, Gigi's legacy, both will live on. Scottie Pippen, an NBA All-Star, also 
from Arkansas posted, I'm stunned. Words can't even come close to describing it. It's just an incredibly sad and tragic day. Pippen also posted a tweet and video of Kobe and his daughter Gianna playing basketball, saying they're both goats in my eyes, and I know that one-on-ones like this will live on forever. Little Rock's mayor, Frank Scott Jr., also tweeted condolences to Bryant's family, saying Kobe was the epitome of a professional athlete using his own talent to surpass sports. Back to you guys. Thanks so much. Some of the other crash victims identified so far are college head uh, baseball coach, his wife and daughter. There's also another girls basketball co coach on board. Yeah, you know, going forward, what are some of the things uh, going on in the NBA and uh, what they plan to do following Kobe's Man, death? Just a lot of emotions. You know, everybody's yeah. sad. A lot of people had so many close relationships to Kobe Bryant, and he impacted a lot of players that he's never met either. Uh, DeMar DeRozan for the San Antonio Spurs, you know, he said he's playing basketball because of Kobe Bryant, you know, and uh, Dwayne Wade posted on his Twitter page and Instagram as well some very emotional words, and so um, six games are scheduled today. We'll likely see more tributes as the you know days go on, but the one we're all really looking for is going to be the Lakers game when they play the Clippers two days from now. Now, the Lakers went on without practice. They had to cancel practice. You're seeing video right now of the team returning from Philadelphia and uh, very emotional players. You can uh, see LeBron James here in just a second embracing what looks to be um, uh, players and also I believe his wife was there as well. And uh, you can see him uh, choked up having tears. Very emotional moment. You have to remember the last public statement from Kobe Bryant was a tweet he sent out congratulating LeBron James for passing him in the all-time scoring list and said you know it's just about him keep on moving the game forward also this is special as well the Dallas Mavericks will retire Bryant's number 24 he never played for the Dallas Mavericks but the owner Mark Cuban says Kobe's legacy transcended basketball and that the number 24 will never be worn again by a Mavericks player just a very special moments and uh, the cool thing about Kobe you know is what he what he leaves behind you talk about his legacy and that is what you've heard called the Mamba mentality mm -hmm. and oh my goodness I mean I just got goosebumps just even saying that read his you know read the book about the Mamba mentality you know just look on YouTube you talk about a guy who does not have room for excuses you know right. He, he is an amazing individual, and it's a very sad day. He really is. You know, being um, you know, from California, I was a huge, I still am a huge uh, Sacramento Kings fan, so I would say our biggest competitor was the Lakers. Mm -hmm. I've, yeah. I've been to a lot of their games, and but I just, one thing that always stood out was a lot of people at the Kings games, you would always have Lakers fans, specifically Kobe jerseys. Mm -hmm. There was no denying his talent and really just rooting for him, too, secretly, because yeah. he was so good. Well, he was, he was fantastic. Uh, I've started becoming a Lakers fan. I'm not as much anymore when Derek Fisher and Kobe Bryant both came in the mm -hmm. league the exact same year. Mm -hmm. I had a Kobe Bryant bobblehead I got 17 years ago for awesome. Christmas. Wow. Pulled that out. Uh, yesterday, just no. to kind of showcase. I ain't gonna lie, I was mad at Kobe when he beat the Sacramento Kings. I ain't gonna lie, I was mad at him back then, but dang, he was good. <laughs> it was impressive to watch. All right, let's get to your local news that matters right now. Little Rock police arrested the man who attacked a 78-year-old woman in a Sam's parking lot. Joseph Powell is in jail this morning. Police say he robbed the woman last Monday. This week's most wanted is a man from Little Rock who's accused of assaulting a police officer. Robert McDowell Lee is considered armed and dangerous. His last known address was on Windermere Lane in Little Rock. If you know where he may be, call the Crime Stoppers tip line. In Jonesboro, police are trying to find out who killed a 78-year-old man who was found dead inside his home Sunday afternoon. Police have not released a cause of death. And Fordyce schools will be closed today after cleaning crews spent the whole weekend disinfecting schools because of the flu. Jackson County schools closed Friday for cleaning but will reopen today. And Oaklawn's racing and Oaklawn racing in Hot Springs had a pretty successful opening weekend. This is the 116th live racing season for Oaklawn, which kicked off Friday. More than 50,000 fans attended the races on the first two days. Live racing continues through May. Let's check with meteorologist Pat Walker now to look at your weather forecast for today. A foggy start. Indeed. A quarter of a mile vis of visibility right now in Little Rock. That's dense fog. Dense fog with zero mile visibility in Benton, zero mile visibility in Conway. Jacksonville, the Air Force Base right now reporting a half mile visibility. But Searcy, Russellville, Hot Springs all reporting that dense fog at a quarter of a mile, quarter of a mile out in Fort Smith. Clinton also reporting zero like the the Benton Airport is. So, yes, we do have the fog this morning, and it is pretty thick in places. Dense fog advisories in effect for all of central Arkansas until 10 a.m. Here's a live look here on the dash heating and cooling tower cam. Kind of step out of the shot there, oh, and you can kind of see the fog over the city above it, a clear sky. And I want you to see what's right over here. See the little blue light? 
that's like the junction bridge light shining up through the fog. You kind of see the blue lights that are on those uh, bridges here in Little Rock this morning. It's 42 right now in Little Rock uh, with that foggy sky. We're going to see looking at uh, partly cloudy sky by noon, mostly sunny this afternoon. We will see the 50s, 50 by noon, a high this afternoon of 56 degrees. Some clouds still down in South Arkansas, left over from yesterday's storm system. That's helping South Arkansas be a little warmer, upper 40s to around 50, but we're at 42 here in Little Rock and even cooler with some 30s in North. West Arkansas. But with a, a lot of sunshine this afternoon, we'll warm to 56 tonight. Clouds will return ahead of tomorrow's rainmaker. Yeah, rain's back in the forecast tomorrow. We'll look at that coming up. But right now, though, let's go over to Carmen and check out your uh, traffic this morning. Good morning, 610. Noticing a few more cars moving through, but lots of fog out there. And that is the scene currently through our 30 and baseline camera with Crane Team Traffic. This is South Interchange looking north on 30. Can't see a whole lot. A few headlights indicating some of those cars moving through, but lots of dense fog out there. So something to keep in mind on those roadways. You're not going to see as much as you typically do because of this. Lots of green, though, despite that fog. But this is going to be something we'll be watching through the rest of the morning. South Interchange, everything looking good there. Flow is green, indicating that everything's moving along just fine. And in Little Rock, if you are traveling near Mabelvale Cutoff, that's where police will be tracking your speed this Monday. Still ahead, President Trump and Israeli's Prime Minister is going to meet today. What their meeting will mean for the future of peace in the Middle East. Plus, we're going to be taking a look at our viewers' Super Bowl predictions. Yeah, I'm seeing the comments on Facebook. We're going to be reading some of those right after the break.